morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Putnam Valley. This is the Night Show. Hey, nah, this is the Night Show. Nah, the Night nah, the nah, the nah, the nah Show. Recorded live in room 116. This is the Night nah, Night. Nah, this is the. This is the Night Show. The Night Show. The Night Show. The Night Show. Welcome back to the Night Show. My name is Antonia Dabulo. And I'm Kyle Wassel. All around the building, students and faculty have been preparing for the upcoming holidays. Our team interviewed some people around the school about their holiday traditions. Here's Max and Tristan with the scoop. So what do you like about Christmas? Um, I like, you know, I like presents and like all the joy and happiness that's going around. Do you think that people in Australia celebrate Christmas since, you know, it's like in the south part of the world and it's like winter and summer is like reversed? So do you think they celebrate Christmas in June or in December in the middle of the summer? Uh, in June. So Jalen, do you think you can sing a Christmas music? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Yes, thank you. So what do you celebrate in the winter holidays? Christmas. So what do you want for Christmas? You know what? I want nothing. I want to spend time with my family. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So what do you want for Christmas? A new phone. Like what type of phone? The iPhone 11. So what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Um, opening presents Christmas morning. So what's your favorite thing in Christmas? I'm Jewish. So AJ, where does Santa lives? The pole. Which one? <laughs> Alright, we did have some interesting information today. I'm Max Dubonar reporting for the night show. Happy holidays. Thank you, Max, for that report. New to the school this year is winter homecoming. Bianca and Jessica have that story. This is in Trieri, and Kelly and I thought that it would be just like something fun to do before like because that last week before you go on a break is usually like super hard and like boring and nobody wants to be there. So we just thought it would be something fun to do to like make that week a little less painful and um also get us out of class on Thursday so the periods are, are like shortened so they're gonna call out like the winter teams and like recognize them just like say a little about say a little bit about them and then cheer team might perform maybe maybe I don't know I think it'll be a lot of fun to just kind of like play games and like Mr. Nemechek is DJing so maybe we'll get to hear a little bit of his own music because he's a star, so. You know, a lot of people weren't happy with the spirit days from Color Wars. We have like some different ones this time. And um, I think kids are gonna like that. And I think, I don't know, just like having like fun in the gym and like playing music. And I just think it'll be a fun time. Thank you, Jessica and Bianca. Auditions for the spring musical Young Frankenstein are on January 8th and 9th. Audition workshops to help students prepare will be taking place January 2nd and 3rd, after school in the Band and Chorus Room. This past week, the History Club visited the 9-11 Museum. They learned all about the tragic event and the effects it had on our community. So here's Ileana with more. Welcome everyone. My name is Ileana Garcia, and today we visited the World Trade Center and the 9-11 Museum in New York City. Which part of the trip stood out to you the most? For me, that would be being able to share my experience of the day and what I have seen in the museum with the students that we came down today. What stood out to you the most on the trip? Um, what I'd say definitely stood out to me the most was there were like the remaining stairs from like one of the towers that were called like the survivor stairs, and I thought that was really cool because you've learned about them before, but they actually had them in the museum, and um, I thought it was cool to see like the stairs themselves and what they like look like in today's condition. Once again, I'm Ayana Garcia, coming to you from the 9/11 Memorial. Thank you for watching. In other news, Antonia interviewed Mr. Lenhardt about the Environmental Club. So here's Antonia with that story. Hi, I'm Antonia Dwill, and today I'm here with Mr. Lenhardt interviewing him about the Environmental Club. So, what is the Environmental Club? So the Environmental Club is a group that gets together to kind of foster a love of the outdoors and environmental concerns. Um, you know, this being a town with a lot of a big natural setting, it's uh, kind of an ideal club. 
Uh, we do gardening, which is put on hold this year because of construction, but in the past we've grown vegetables that got donated to a local food pantry. We also do hikes on and off campus. And because of the construction, instead of gardening, we might be focusing on uh, local waterways like the Hudson River, doing a Hudson River cleanup or something along those lines. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, around how many students are in the club? We have about 15 to 20 students usually. Um, and when does the club meet? The club meets on Thursdays during academic study in room 114. Thank you for watching and if you're interested make sure you visit room 114 every Thursday during academic study. Putnam Valley is so lucky to have such great clubs throughout the school. And finally, our holiday toy drive was a great success. All the toys we collected were donated to Maria Ferrari's Children's Hospital. Well, that's the nine show for today. I'm Kyle Wassel. And I'm Anthony Zabula. Thanks for watching and happy holidays. Stay beautiful. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Putnam Valley. Putnum Valley. Putnum Valley. This is the Nine Show. Hey, nah, this is the Nine, nah, nah, the Nine, nah, the Nine Show. Recorded live in Room 116. This is the Nine, nah, nah, this is the, this is the Nine Show. The Nine Show. The Nine Show.